Hello everybody, my name is Joe Carter and today I'm going to be um, doing a short introductory video for my Battles Vietnam Tabletop War Game. Basically it's a, it's a solitaire war game where the player controls a team of six uh, U.S. Army Rangers uh, in South Vietnam during the Vietnam War in the late 1960s. Um, it's, uh, it's a tables-based game engine and um, Battles Vietnam is number two in a three-game series. The first title is Battles Medieval and the third title is Battles South Pacific. And the Battles series is basically um, a skirmish, tactical skirmish war game. And um, they, uh, the games consist of 10 battle maps each. Um, they're 8.5 by 11 or A4 size, so they're all very small. And all three games are available as print and play on Wargame Vault or as box versions uh, self-published on um, the Game Crafter website. So today I'm going to be doing a quick um, explanation of the print and play game components. Here are the tables. This is printed out from the PDF. And uh, basically uh, you're going to follow the tables through alphabetical or numerical order. So it looks like a lot, but it's not that much. I believe there's only 11 pages, which is not that much actually. It sounds like a lot, but you're not going to use all the tables um, each battle, they, these are the setup tables here. Each um, each battle is randomized. They're all interconnected. There are five or ten um, battles uh, per can campaign game. The five battles is for the short game, and ten is for the the long campaign game. And everything's randomized, so replayability is very good. Uh, no two battles will ever be the same, and um, we have the combat tables here, and um, there's different weapon types, and wounds of course, and different mission types, and we have a name generator here. You can uh, roll up the names for your ranger team members. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the sheets here. These sheets are placed in these hard plastic folders so they can be written on with a dry erase marker and reused. Here this is the regular mission sheet and then this is the mission info. We have the mission number, map number. There are 10 different battle maps randomized and then we have day and night, good, poor, bad weather. And we have the mission types. We have ambush, medium engagement, village assault, and village defense. Everything's randomized. Like I said, you don't know if it's going to be day or night, uh, what type of weather, or what type of uh, battle, or how many enemies, or what types of enemies. So everything, or their starting positions. So everything's randomized. So we have total VPs here and current bonus points. Bonus points are um, VPs, and they are used to purchase, uh, or not purchase, but to equip your uh, rangers with weapons before uh, or equipment before each battle and they are earned by killing enemy Viet Cong soldiers and then uh, they are also used to uh, build up skill points which I will explain a little bit later. Here we have the VC number 1 through 10 there can be up to 10 per battle not always but maximum and then we have the different uh, VC unit types. We have bunker, machine gun, mortar, RPG, sniper, and soldier. We have the skill levels, green, average, veteran, and elite, and these are the wounds that you mark off the boxes if they are wounded. Okay, and then we have the minimum attack, uh, minimum maximum attack ranges for the weapons or the unit type, day, 
and night. These are the uh, hex ranges, minimum and maximum attack ranges. So let's and in there. Go ahead and go to the ranger sheets. We have one, two, three, ranger one, two, three, and ranger four, five, six. So you're gonna have two of these. These are also in the hard clear plastic folders, so they can be written on with a dry erase marker like this. Okay, and then we have the name, you can write in the name, and then we have the skills. These are the type of skills that you can uh, improve for your ranger team members. We have blade, gunnery, gunslinger, medic, pickle barrel, sniper, and stealth. And you can have a maximum of five skill points per skill. And then we have the weapon types here, and we have the ammunition types, and we have the equipment types, starlight scope, different things. And we have the wounds, just like with the Viet Cong. Okay. And down here we also have the weapons ranges. So let's go ahead and go to show you some of the maps here. These are some of the maps. There are 10 different battle maps. There are 8.5 by 11 or A4. These were printed out at A4, but you can also print them out at 8.5 by 11 inch. And so they're very small, and you, you will use one battle map per battle. And um, they're randomized, so whichever one map terrain you're going to get, you don't know. And then, for example, we have uh, the different terrain types. We have village terrain. And uh, we have uh, rice paddy fields terrain, we have jungle terrain, we have open grass terrain, we have road terrain. And then there's line of sight during combat, and each terrain type um, will limit the unit movement per combat round. So, there are many different types of maps here. So you have a lot of replayability. Like this is considered water, like a river. This is like a bridge right here. And uh, let's see. Yeah, so that covers that. And for example, um, here are some of the units counters. These were mounted on uh, blank, half inch blank counters uh, I, I got from Decision Games. Each one was, I cut out each one from the sheet and then I pasted each one. It took me quite a while but I think the results are very good. And This is for print and play. If you buy the boxed version uh, the counters are already manufactured. You don't have to do any of this. But you will save some money if you do get the print and play version. It's quite a bit cheaper so it's your choice. And then, uh, you know, for ran everything's going to be randomized set up. Uh, you're going to have the different types of VC um, soldiers. And then they will always move towards uh, the closest. Not always, but um, the AI, you know, it, it can either just pause or also retreat. But if they advance, they uh, will usually advance towards the closest uh, ranger in uh, line of sight. So... And then for order of attack, you know, in order of attack, we have these draw cup counters, and uh, you're going to just draw one from each draw cup, like Ranger 5 would be Ranger 5, here's Ranger 5, okay, so it's his time, it's his turn to attack, because we drew his we drew his counter, and then we have Ranger 6, so you just mix them all in, all the units are that are currently on the battlefield, you just put them in the cup each combat round and then you pull them out one at a time and then that's their turn. So everything's randomized, replayability is very good. So um, here we're going to, I'm going to show you the DRM calculator. This is also included as PDF for the boxed version and um, you can just print it out and basically you can just keep track of uh, there's this little star counter here. You can keep track of uh, how many DRMs, die roll modifiers, are on the tables. 
it says just a quick way to calculate da, 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 one two three minus two minus three okay finally that's my DRM plus three because there are quite a few DRMs but don't be intimidated um, it really adds to replayability and for example we have all these different variables so the DRMs really add to the replayability you're never going to have two um, of the same battles you know the results are, are each combat round is going to be randomized like so many variables um, really adding to the replayability um, so uh, the average play time um, for five mission uh, five battles five missions um, is about two and a half hours so it's average about 30 minutes per battle Sometimes it'll be longer, sometimes it'll be shorter. It just depends. For the long campaign game, it's 10, 10 battles, 10 missions. Uh, total play time will average about five hours. So you might be able to complete a short, uh, a short game in one sitting, but um, a long game, probably not. So what I did was I included uh, um, save game sheet here you can write down your ranger status their skill points and their names and everything okay, you can pack the game up um, set up and breakdown is very quick about five minutes um, set up or breakdown and then the the table footprint is also quite small uh, you're gonna have four of these you're gonna always have one map during the battle and um, you're going to have these these four sheets here, or should I say these three sheets? You're going to have the one VC sheet and then two of these. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, or you can go like that. And um, so the, the footprint is quite small. These are all eight and a half by eleven or A4 size. So no, there's nothing big that you um, that you have to prepare. So it's easy to print out. And um, these are the, uh, let me go ahead and show you the, these are the campaign logs. This is a short campaign log. We have battle number, there's only five battles for a short campaign. And we have the battle type and battle information, weather, map number, uh, time of day. Then we have the kills and then victory points and bonus points are down here. And final scoring and this is the long campaign it's 10 battles connected battles so you can uh, just keep track of everything and uh, I think that's all for today uh, oh I forgot this this is uh, these are uh, VC uh, group action cards so for example you're in combat and uh, you will uh, it helps to, to make the game a little the, the AI enemy AI a little more unpredictable we have VC action this is table C3 and let's say we roll a 10 modified 10 doesn't have to be unmodified it's modified 10 after modifiers are calculated and oh group action so we get down to no F and oh look we have the different types of actions that affect all vc units on the battlefield up to we're going to roll a 1d6 this is an old uh, play test so uh, card so i haven't updated him yet but the, there it should be six um maximum six combat rounds so you're going to roll okay let's say okay four so you're going to mark off four you're going to write in a four and mark off one box, combat round box, per combat round. And then that's the duration that it's in effect for all VC units. So we have retreat, charge, rally, hold ground, and take cover. So it makes the AI a little bit unpredictable um, if you do roll that VC group action uh, roll. So um, let's see. Uh, yeah, the, the modifiers are, are there are a lot of modifiers, but like I said, they they really add to the replayability of the game, 
and so don't be intimidated it's very very easy uh, the game engine is, is makes uh, learning very easy and quick um, the, it does seem like there's a lot of content but um, most of the rules are integrated into the tables as notes so there's very little memorization it's always there right in front of you like if you put the game away for six months and like oh no I forgot how to play it you don't really need to memorize everything because the rules are always right in front of you about 95 percent of the rules there's also a, a quick start guide and um, a counter guide but there's no regular rule book but um, it's like I said, it, it's so easy to pick up and play. Most of the rules, about 95% of the rules, are integrated into the tables. Uh, so it, it's you learn as you play, basically, which is, uh, I think, a really good way to, uh, to, to learn a game, if possible. So anyway, uh, I think that's all for today. And uh, if you're interested, please check out the print and play version uh, of all three games on a war game vault and they're available as pdf you download them and um, you can uh, print them out yourself or have a, a shop print them out for you it shouldn't cost too much money it's a lot cheaper than the boxed version for the boxed versions of the games but the boxed versions are already assembled and um, you don't really have to do anything you know so it's your choice and the boxed versions are available uh, at War Game, War Game, <laughs> not War Game, Game Crafter, uh, the GameCrafter.com website. So there, there's kind of probably the one more game title in the series. Uh, it's it's called uh, Battles North Africa. I'm currently uh, working on it right now, and it will take place in North North Africa during uh, World War II, 1942. And the player um, commands British uh, army units against the uh, German German army units, and um, so that's it. And I think I'm gonna make it two player. Maybe I don't know, but it will be solitaire for sure. Uh, maybe I'll have where the second player can play as the Germans. Uh, I'm I'm still not sure yet. But anyway, thank you for watching, and um, I hope you check out the games if you're interested. And that's all for today. Thank you.